All right, YouTube. It should be all in focus. Hopefully. All right. I had a request to show how to make cobs. All right. So this is what we got. We got water in the white bucket. We got small pieces of straw in this little bucket. We got manure material, which in my case is chicken. It's a dried, very fine, that bucket. I got Tennessee red clay right here. This is red clay. This has not been liquid or nothing. It's hard as it sits. So, that's a good building block. All right. This is red clay. Add the manure. I don't want big chunks in it. I don't want big chunks in it if I can help it. Because I don't want big chunks. Alright, add the manure. Ratios, I have no clue. I just use whatever feels right, so it's hard to tell somebody ratio. Break this up a little. Real fine, small particles. Chicken shit does a uh, Manure does kind of a bi I mean a chemical process to strengthen it. The manure, I mean the straw, works as a binder. So, it's kind of what you're dealing with. And then you just knead it all together. Add a little water. Try to get these big chunks broke up. Break up all the big chunks, you want everything to be small. Ideally, I would have dried the red clay out first, and then uh, let it dry to the point where it became really powdery, where I could actually break it up into a dust, and then I would have done this. This ain't the same process as I used on the rocket stove. Really, on the rocket stove, I just used red clay and dirt water. I didn't add no binders or nothing. Here's why it's cracked. And it ain't going to be a permanent fix on it. Need it like a loaf of bread. I know I wish I could show you this, but I'm by myself right now. And I ain't got nobody to videotape this, so I can show you in more detail on what I'm doing. Normally when they're building like cob houses and stuff like that, they are got this on a big piece of tar for something. They're working on it to work it. I'm just making a small batch, so I didn't bother with the tarp. Basically, that's it. We got little fibers and stuff. When you pull it apart, all the fibers, when this hardens up, it'll hold. Actually, it's a little too wet. I actually got it a little wetter than it should be. This works good as a glaze, though. 
but messy process. If I can dry that, and that'll stay hard. It'll hold up to weather really well. The Tennessee red clay is a really good material. If you got red clay in your area, actually clay itself, if you got it in your area, it's a good thing to have. You can do all sorts of things with it. 